What up there guys, this is Jacket82 and this is November 22nd, 2011. This video is going to be a little bit out there, so warning to the people who may not agree with some of the opinions I'm expressing, you are entitled to your opinion, I respect that, uh, but let me get my piece out and just speak about this right, this particular topic. And this, this particular topic is going to be a variety things but then again it's the thing of dealing with being thankful thanksgiving is coming up this thursday and i'm sure a bunch of you guys will be around family friends or just people you know in spirit of thanksgiving and just hopefully all you guys will just be grateful or be thankful for what little you might have or just be thankful that you're around people that care about you and are true friends and family because the news right now it's, it's just really kicking people in the ass. It's really making people say, damn. Because today, I'm watching the news. Just, you know, I see some stuff on the news. Now, forgive me, guys, if I feel a little tired. Because I've been up. I only had like three hours of sleep today. Yeah. And I'm sitting here drinking a bottle. It's not real hard liquor. It's actually well, just sparkling. And it's non alcoholic, so. But yeah, this video is about, excuse me, this video is about things that we see on the news, pretty much the blues of the news, and pretty much about just what's going on in the world, and I'm not going to sit there and be one of those prophets, the doomsday, 2012, all that, because you got to be able to just see tomorrow for what tomorrow is and what today is and remove the past and understand that certain things that go on are just what happens you hear a noise in the background I apologize because <laughs> noise yeah but today was the day I watched the news and I've, I've been watching the news just pretty much like every one of you guys and I've seen it just it's depressing the news is depressing I mean, if it's local or national or world news, it's just depressing as hell to watch the news. I mean, okay, you talk about the economy, the economy, employment, unemployment is like 9%, and it's a lot of people that are looking for jobs. It's a lot of people that are struggling right now, and it hits you in the head because you see people that are just getting out of college who've been in college for four years who've got a degree who get out of college and they don't know what they need what they can do and it's it's just sad I just don't understand how you can see an economy do this in this situation and it kinda seems like you know those little documentaries I used to watch on uh, Discovery Channel and TLC back probably five or six years ago where they was talking about different things dealing with the economy and different things dealing with the atmosphere of the earth and just all kinds of really catastrophic things but the thing that gets me is, is uh, the fact that you see these people like me you we work hard for every dollar we get a nine to five job is nothing for me to do a nine to five job is nothing for the majority of you guys to do but when you see people that are in the corporate world you see things that happen in New York and you see things that happen in Oakland and in different areas of the country and the world and you see that there are these scumbags, these assholes, shitheads, every full of full of colorful names I can call them, taking people's money. Taking every dime you have. And they already have it. They already have money. But they need a little bit more because they're greedy as hell. And people are struggling. You know, I'm saying, guys, be thankful because, you know, just be thankful for tomorrow and be thankful for the day after. Because today and tomorrow, there are two different days. I mean, we're all going to have to sit there and deal with t each day as it comes. And it seems like the news is just, just a depressing blueprint to sit there and show, you, hey, this is the direction this thing is going. Because 
you sit there and have false promises of new jobs, of a health care bill for 2014. And I'm not shitting on Barack Obama. I voted for him. But then again, a little bit before the election came around, I was thinking about voting for McCain, but on the simple fact, because McCain has experience. He had more experience than Barack Obama when that election happened. And you go by knowledge. And I'm not a Republican. I'm a Democrat. But, you know, it does, it, 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 that's, to me, you don't see eyes to that. Democrat or Republican. Democrat or Republican. You just see the guy who you think, in your mind, has an idea of what the hell he wants to do with the country and how he wants to make this whole little scenario ease down a little bit and make it better for people like you and me that are working and struggling and trying to get ourselves together. It's just hard to believe all the things you see on the news because sometimes the news can lie. Sometimes the news can fuck with you. They can sit there and turn a little story into a big ass story real quick and make you be like, no. So that's why the cheese tastes like that. I'm sorry. But that's the truth. They can throw something out of proportion and make you scratch your head to the point you want to pull your hair out. Now, the thing with the people, you know, in, in New York and stuff, the brutality was not needed. It was a peaceful protest. You didn't have to throw people over rails and shit to get a point across. But it just makes you think. It makes you sit there and look back and think to yourself as you sit back in your chair watching TV. You sit there and think, how is it that we're in this situation that we are? They're thinking that they that we're going to, by banking on Black Friday, that it's going to change the economy. It's going to make it better. No, it's not going to make it better. One day? One fucking day? It's going to make it all better? It's like breaking your leg in three places and you get some get some Benadryl, rub it on there, and all of a sudden you can walk like it's nothing. No, you don't heal a wound like that. You need to work on this about a day-by-day -day process for years. For years. And then say to yourself it's going to get better. But, once again, I digress. I'm seeing there thinking to myself, what could be better for tomorrow? But, it's just the way it is right now. Now, people can talk shit about a person working at McDonald's or a person working at Wendy's Popeye's. It don't matter. But guess what? That person that was working at that big time, uh, you know, Fortune 500 company that was wearing a suit and tie is probably working there you know, trying to get a job at a fucking Wendy's at a fucking Burger King because the way things are right now you have to do what you have to do to get some stability in your life now he's talking about a health care bill where by 2014 that's good in Nandy Canada's been able to do this for years and it's about time we do it. But right now, even as we speak right now, if you have a person that doesn't have a job, doesn't have a house, doesn't have anything, as a medical physician, you have not known it to be to reject anybody. That is a hospital or that is a clinic or that is whatever. You're supposed to treat that person. Plain and simple. Because... That's not how we do things. If a person is rushed to a hospital with a broken leg, you fix it. Even if they don't have a dollar to their name. It's hard to sit there and sit there and just say, well, you don't have insurance. That's bullshit. You should be able to treat anybody, medical-wise. And that's even if that bill doesn't come out until 2014. But... You look at different things like celebrities, and I'm not shitting on any fucking person that's famous, not no sports person, not any of that. Because, guess what? That's our entertainment, that's an amusement we watch. It's good, it's good, it's good. But you think about all these people who have this much money. Here's how I heard Beyonce pulled in $160 million last year. $160 million. <laughs> You telling me all these motherfuckers making all this damn money? We can't sit there and I ain't saying script them of what they have because they earned it. But damn, 
as celebrities look at it and say, hey, maybe I can throw a couple thousand in there. You know, I'm not going to be a person that's crooked, but I think most celebrities that do charity benefits or give money to charity do it as a tax write-off. It seems like, yeah, I said it, a tax write-off because you would think that by the person having that much power, having millions of people know who they are, think about it. I mean, it's a whole lot of things that are the way they're here right that the way they are right now. When it deals with the economy. I mean it's money, it's lack of concentration on new jobs, it's lack of concentration on just sitting yourself on one goal at a time and stop jumping the gun. Daddy talk about this super, uh, super thing. Dealing with uh super or something like that. I'm not gonna try to justify my pronunciation of it, but that's dealing with the Copyright Act. Now, maybe that might help the economy also because any revenue is good revenue, especially if you know that a person that you see outside your neighborhood sells CDs or DVDs. You know who you are, Bobby, or sells stuff like that. And you know those movies and those DVDs or CDs will not sell that as much for that particular artist or that actor, that producer or that director because... Hell, it's people getting it for free or getting it little to nothing and they already watched it. Or they're already listening to it. So why would they want to buy the actual copy? So, yeah, it's understandable. But certain things are just the way they are, I guess. You know, it kind of makes you think of what tomorrow will bring, but once again, you got to live in the day. Don't think about tomorrow. Tomorrow is not written. It's all about what you do today and what you can do tomorrow once that day starts. I'm not going to say this is a ramble. I'm thinking about even not even uploading this video to YouTube. But just be thankful. I mean, the news, it gives you blues. You know, but just understand that tomorrow will hopefully be a better day. But yeah. I'm finna go and get out of here, guys. I just want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you guys have a great, great, great time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with the world, man? This is Jugged A2 signing off.